from the mausoleum, a Schwelt, fighting weight, minus 20 pounds, the rain man himself, David Sachs. You guys gave me the motivation. I mean, this podcast- We fat shamed you. Ne- you fat shamed me, you needled me for months, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to l- lose the weight, so I've lost it. What was your peak weight in the last 12 months? I think I was at in the high 190s, and I'm down to about 172 now, so it's about 25 pounds. Wow. Since since about April or May. That's really great, bro. That's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, honestly, your family thanks you. I thank you as a friend too. No, but seriously, <laughs> keep that's around longer. Really fucking great. I'm really, I'm really proud Are you of you. Exercising too? Thank you. Or you just cut your diet? It's, it's. Uh, I, I, I'm doing the same ex- exercise regimen I was doing before, which is just running occasionally. But, um, but it's, it's all diet. It's all diet. It's, it's frankly severe calorie restriction. And your your unique product has been very helpful. But is uh, it really severe oh, calorie restriction? Thanks for the plug. I I'll think so. Plug. Yeah, we I were talking so. about Munique for the syndicate on the call-in app the other day. Um, <laughs> 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 the plugs are dropping from the sky. Well, hold on. I'm allowed to plug. I'm allowed to plug. Uh, another you just did the Munique product. plug, so you could put a call-in plug. You no, have, no, 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 we, no, you're I'm violating not, a rules of the road that no, we wrote I'm not. down. It's not a violation of the rules because I'm not a shareholder in Munique. I don't know yes, any interest in that. But are you negotiating a deal? No, but have now you talked I might. about funding Munich? No, I haven't. But Freebrook, can I invest? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good I'm one. We, sh- we should actually throw that one in the syndicate if you guys want. Uh, yeah, Munich's great. I-, I did it. I lost some weight on it. Saxy Poo, what's your uh, what's your uh, basal calorie burn? Did you calculate that? I'm not. What does that mean? Like Just your cal- steady state calorie burn on a normal day. Like if you're not exercising or whatever. Like yeah. based on your height, your BMI, your weight, all that stuff. Yeah, how- I did. I did look it up, and I think it's around two thousand calories 2, a day. Calories. But but the thing that's super interesting, yeah, there's a calculator online where you can enter your your uh, height, weight, and age, and it'll tell you how many calories that you burn every day. So if you want to lose weight, you need to consume fewer calories than that. It's that simple. Everything else that people do around weight loss that is not that is basically some sort of game. You just have to consume fewer calories than you're burning. But the thing that's really interesting about that calculator is that the number of calories you can burn every year actually changes as you get older. It goes down. So the reason why people gain weight as they get older is because you're in a habit of consuming a certain number of calories every day. But you know, as you get older, like every year you can consume, say, 50 fewer calories a day, something like that. And that basically becomes fat if you, cons- if you consume at the same level. So you have to cut your consumption down as you get older or you will gain weight. And in addition to your metabolic fitness, meaning like, you know, having your exercise level stay up to increase your metabolism overall, you can also add muscle mass. A lot of people lose muscle mass over time. Yep. Muscle burns more calories per day just to kind of keep functioning. So the more muscle mass you have, the higher your basal. And you lose like are. half a pound to a pound a year after forty. Is that correct? Directionally, uh, free birth? I, I don't know, but that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I read. That is about right, Bec- and I think it's because of this dynamic where people are just consuming the same amount, but they don't realize that they can't burn it, and so it becomes fat. You know, so so in my case, first of all, you got to get your caloric intake down to two thousand just to get to steady state, and that can be. A challenge, but if you really want to lose weight, you need to burn. You need to basically consume a few hundred calories less than that. And if you can consume five hundred calories less than that per day, that's considered rapid weight loss. And then you can actually see the results, which is very motivating. Yeah. So I like the idea of just going for the like significant the five hundred calories. Where are you? You're at fifteen hundred calories a day. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, I haven't like precisely measured it out, but I've been trying to go for. And is that you know, do you skip a meal? Is that how you get to the minus five hundred calories? Uh, yeah, I will either skip breakfast or I'll do a very light breakfast, um, and then for lunch I'll do like something entirely plant based, like like soup, like a vegetable soup of some kind. And then when it comes to dinner, it'll be a more normal dinner, but no carbs, no dessert. Two dinners, one bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, you have a good system. The sack yeah. system works for me. Yeah. 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 The sack one, system one, one is thing, vegetables first. Yes. Then fish, then, then poultry, fish, then red chicken, meat. Then red meat. So, so it's, it's not, you're not like entirely all one thing or another. You're not like all vegan, which would be hard. You're not, you, it's not like you're all, uh, you, there's no red meat or something like that. You can do a little of everything, but you have to have a weighting. And the weighting is based on what foods have, are the most calorie dense. So the, the mistake that I think people make, and I think it's one of these trick diets, is like with these protein, like the South Beach type diet, 
or the paleo diet, right? Where they're trying to trick their body into ketosis and all they do is eat a lot of red meat. But those steaks have a lot of calories in them. Yeah. So it only works if you do it perfectly where you totally trick your body and keeping your body in ketosis forever is just not sustainable in my view. It's hard. So I think you're a lot better off just eating less calorie dense food and steak is very calorie dense. So, you know, again, you try to eat plants first than than fish. I I rarely eat beef, uh, but I get to eat it uh, today and I'm having steak night. Dre's coming over for dinner and in the season, he, whenever I text him and I say, hey, what do you want for dinner? Draymond's always like fish, 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 fish. And I said, bro, I, I get to eat steak so fucking rarely. Uh, and today we're having steak. I can't wait. My mouth is watering. Get to, when you get to, it's because you're on some diet, basically. No, no, I do. I, I just observe that I don't eat meat any more than once a week maximum. And right now I'm probably averaging once every two weeks, maybe even once every three weeks. And to your point, it's much better. I, I do these uh, scans. You know, you can do these kind of body scans to know what your um, your total water weight, your total muscle weight, your total weight, your total body fat all of that stuff and your basic metabolic rate. And I just kind of track it like once a quarter just to see where it is. Um, and I, I agree with you. Like I've really found that uh, I can't eat red meat anymore. Like it's like, it just really fucks me up. But it's so good. Right. It's so good. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. The other, one other trick is that you should never consume calories like in liquid form, right? You should only be drinking yes. water, tea, coffee, things like that, that don't have any calories. People go to Starbucks in the morning and they, they drink like calories. Four, yeah, 400 plus calories. Then they have a, you know, cinnamon roll or whatever, or, or banana yeah, nut bread. Yeah, they're at 1200 that's, at the start of yeah, the day. Yeah, I mean, that's it. You're just, I mean, you're going to be gaining weight on just from going to Starbucks in the morning. There's no, now, if you do an Americano with a splash of almond milk or something, that's like five, 10 calories, that's fine. But um, you, you have to stop drinking calories. And then the one exception is like last night we did poker. We were drinking wine. So that's fine. 